First of all, our single malt, which is column distilled, it's pretty unique uh, because if you think about when we talk about column, people typically associate it with green whiskey because we all have the uh, knowledge from uh, Scotch whiskey industry uh, or, in, or from America bourbon industry. For us, this is a very unique product because it is created in mind to be a very light, uh, very light style, approachable, drinkable whiskey. Okay, this is your all day whiskey. That's how it has been designed. So how it is now different uh, in production? Okay, it is 100% malted barley. Okay, so the brewing style is very much like how traditional brew, Scotch whiskey brewings is. Okay, one thing we always do in our brewing for single malt we start low temperature again. So we start at 50 degree for this as well, for brewing, okay. It creates certain flavors in there. It also quite helpful for runoffs and all these things. The science is also behind all the reasoning. Uh, then long fermentation, different variety of yeast because we are aiming for floral notes in here, okay. Distillation, again low, very slow uh, distillation in the pot distill first to create the low wines and then we distill the low wine in our column still joyce. Again, very slowly because we do not want to strip all the flavors that we took our time to create, but we only want to retain the slight amount of tropical notes and mainly the floral notes that comes from the malt and the brewing process to be in there. So if you have a sniff, you'll see it's so soft. I know it's like what white flowers in there, you know, Tiny bit of tropical, very specific, I find it's like ripe papaya kind of element in tropical notes. Yeah, and the best way of serving or enjoying, in my view, is having it in highball. Because when you add that ice and soda to it, that floral note just jumps out, absolutely, and becomes a very sweet drink without any sugar. So very low calorie. Someone said to me, it's better than a, a pint of beer. Yep, 